Hello and welcome to my channel Networking with H. In this video, I will discuss about hot and cold aisle in data center. In data centers, where hundreds or even thousands of network devices are running constantly, one of the biggest challenges is heat management. These devices generate a significant amount of heat. And if this heat is not properly managed, it can lead to equipment failure, reduced performance, and increased cooling costs. To address this, data center use a design strategy called hot and cold aisle containment. The hot and cold aisle data center layout was originated by IBM in 1992 and is one of the oldest ways to save energy in the data center. The purpose of hot and cold aisle is to manage airflow and cooling efficiency consequently, lowering the energy, cooling, and management cost inside the data centers. In data center, rows of server rack are oriented in a way that front of the server face each other and back of the server face each other. So the cold aisle is the aisle where the front of the server face each other. If you look from the side view below here, this is the aisle where the front of the servers face each other. Cold air from the air conditioning system is supplied to this aisle, allowing it to be pulled out, pulled into the front of the servers to cool them down. The cold air is isolated to prevent it from mixing with the hot exhaust air. So the hot aisle is the aisle where back of the server uh, which expel hot air face each other. Hot air is exhausted into the aisle from the server and then direct it into the air conditioning system for cooling. The goal is to isolate the hot air to prevent it from mixing with the cool air so it can be efficiently removed from the data center. The arrangement is such that the cold air intake is facing one way while hot air exhaust is on the other side of the server rack. Other equipment is available such as blowers and chillers to increase efficiency and avoid the mixing of the different temperatures of air. So the idea is to separate cold air intake from the hot air exhaust of servers and other equipment. There are different cooling methods available such as the one which I explained, the traditional one, raised floors. The other one, the second one is direct liquid cooling. The third one uh, is rear door heat exchanges. And then we have chimney or vertical exhaust ducts. There are other ways as well. So I just uh, showed you some of the ways. So the choice of dip method depends on the data center's density, cooling requirement and infrastructure flexibility. Some of the key benefits of using cooling method is it improves cooling efficiency. By separating the hot and cold air streams, it prevents hot air from recirculating into the cold air intakes, which can cause servers to overheat. Energy savings. Efficient cooling reduces the amount of energy needed to cool the data center. And then temperature control helps maintain an optimal operating temperature for servers and networking equipment. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe. And if you, have, uh, if you want to join CCNA uh, full training, you can join me on Udemy. I'll be happy to uh, support you guys there. Thank you.